have a wild road runner that comes to visit almost every day. I knew I wanted to get a painting of him, so every time he came around, I would be with my camera trying to get the perfect shot. We named this Roadrunner Terracac, and you might wonder, what kind of a name is Terracac? Well, here's our inspiration. Terracac's visit and the atmospheric drama of the fire were the two parts of the story for this painting. While I see him at least a few times a week, I've never seen him return to the deck for such an extended visit. That was a special occasion where he got close and allowed me to take so many pictures. Roadrunners are members of the cuckoo family. They're big birds, 12 to 14 inches tall and wide. To me, they look like dinosaur chickens. They have a real intensity and they're quite smart. While Roadrunners don't look anything like the Looney Tunes Roadrunner character, he does have an animated, comical appearance, running quickly, sometimes skipping, tilting his tail and head crest up and down. He appears unafraid, curious, and responsive to our excitement at seeing him. He's become a regular visitor and somewhat of a mascot around our house. I call Terracac a he, but you can't visually tell the difference between males and females. A mated pair will have a nest and hunt in a territory that covers about half a mile. Every year they renew their bond with elaborate rituals where the male must prove his strength and capability to provide by bringing a mouse or other food with a dance to his partner. I may be seeing one or both of a couple. They build their nests off the ground in the center of thorny choya cactuses. I've been keeping my eyes open, but I have not found the nest. Roadrunners lay clutches of eggs once or twice a year and have two to six chicks, but I've not yet seen a juvenile. Roadrunners have strong legs and can run up to 30 miles an hour. Terracac is a good hopper, but his small wings allow for short bursts of flight to extend the distance of his hops or to jump up into a bush or a tree. They use the hop with a flush of their wings to startle prey out of hiding. Terracac patrols our property looking for lizards, mice, snakes, or insects. Roadrunners are unintimidated by rattlesnakes and will go through incredible skillful acrobatics to peck at the head to kill and then eat them if there's an opportunity. I've seen videos of tame birds and heard stories of roadrunners taking offerings of food, then showing up at the front door knocking with their beak demanding to be fed. I would love Terracac to eat out of my hand, but I'm not gonna do that. Wild animals are always better off sticking to their normal biological diet without any human intervention. With all the lizards around here, he won't go hungry. As last winter approached, I noticed I wasn't seeing our friend around. I learned roadrunners have a semi-hibernation period called torpor from about November to mid-February to help conserve energy when food is scarce. This spring, he reappeared on March 15th, and I was so glad to see him.